Hey, Lee here, and this is the third video in my uh, LinkedIn playlist, and uh, we've talked so far generally about how LinkedIn works. We've talked about your profile. We've talked about um, uh, building out your connections and stuff like that, the mathematics behind LinkedIn. And um, I really wanted to make another video and really dig deep into these connections because this is not the only thing going on in LinkedIn but it's absolutely one of the most important things. The more people you're connected with, the better off it's gonna be, the bigger your network is, the more people you have to reach out to and sell stuff to. So your overall goal is to be connected with a lot of people directly. Now you can have up to 30,000, unless they've changed the number since I looked last time, but you can have up to 30,000 direct or first-tier connections in LinkedIn. Uh, right now, I think personally, I've got like 6.2 thousand or 6,200, um, which is a ton. And uh, out of that, my second, you know, we talked all about second-tier connections last time. My second-tier connections are a few million. And I've forgotten exactly how many, but a few million. And that's what we mine to you know, when, basically when you want to niche down, or for my friends across the pond, when you want to niche down, when you want to specialize in a certain niche. So, I guess now that I'm talking, we should call this particular video LinkedIn Connections Part 2. See, here's the deal. When you get started on LinkedIn, your number one goal I mean, yeah, you need to get your picture, your profile, all that stuff straight now. But your number one goal after that is to get 500 plus connections. The reason is, for people who are not logged into your account, i.e. everyone else but you, I don't care if you've got 501 connections, 6,000 connections, or 30,000 connections, it says that you have 500 plus connections. So you just don't look like a player unless you've got 500 plus connections. So that that's your number one goal but also mathematically you got nothing to work with if you don't have 500 plus connections so your first goal is to get 500 plus connections who would those people be well look in facebook look at the people that you're connected in facebook and connect with them i mean most people are connected with a thousand two thousand people on facebook hit them up and say hey are you on linkedin can i connect with you all right so just build that out pretty fast as best you can. When I actually sat down and started working LinkedIn, I, I had a, 180 some odd connections, which is a piddling few. And obviously the platform wasn't working for me with Flip. But when I started really focusing in on getting connections, it really didn't take but a week or two to get up to 500. And then it only took a few more weeks to get over the next benchmark figure, which is 2000. Why do I say in terms of uh, first-year connections that 2000 is a benchmark figure? Because for myself and for people that I've coached and mentored and just generally talked to, 2000 first-year connections gives you a significant number of second-tier connections. It is within those second-tier connections that you're going to be able to find your target market. Okay? With 2000 connections, you probably got The joys of cutting videos outside. Hang on. Can you see him? No, I don't think so. So with 2,000 connections, you probably got a million or so, 700,000, something like that, first-tier connections. These are 700,000 a million people who are using LinkedIn. That's a lot of people, and it's a lot of professional people. And out of that group of professional people, you can find a lot of people in your target market. I don't know what you're selling. I'm not sure why you're using LinkedIn. I, I don't know what your ultimate goal is. I'm, cut, I'm doing this playlist for people who are interested in selling stuff on LinkedIn. So let's just come up with an example. Let's say that you're selling marketing... Um, coaching to authors and public speakers. What well, do you think out of your average 700,000 cool hip people that you're connected to with on that you're connected to on LinkedIn, 
uh, even secondary connections, that you're going to have some authors and public speakers. I can guarantee you you're going to have a bunch of them. And so what you're going to do once you get up to about a 2,000 first-tier connections, you're going to start actively targeting a specific market among your second-tier connections. Let's go with the author, public speaker thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to search. You can use LinkedIn search. It doesn't work very well, but it works well enough for this. You can you know, type in words like author, type in words like book, type in words like Kindle, type in words like public speaker, type in words like sales trainer or trainer, all of that whole constellation of words, type that in the search bar and narrow that down to your second tier connections and you will see the people who are second tier connections who have uh, keywords in their profiles that match up with what you just typed in. Then your goal is to start connecting with them now, the beauty of this is the following. Authors, public speakers are generally connected with a lot of other authors and public speakers. And so, let's say Mary's a public speaker and Mary becomes a first-tier connection. In other words, I reach out to Mary, she accepts my, connect my connection request and becomes a first-tier connection. Well, suddenly, all of Mary's first-tier connections are now my second-tier connections. A bunch of those people are public speakers and authors and people, you know, publishing agents and people like that in their general business. That if I, if that were my niche, I would want to be solidly connected to people like that. I'd want to be networking with people like that. So, the deeper you go into a niche, the easier it gets because you get more and more second tier connections that you can start pulling up into first tier connections. At which point you start intelligently marketing your services to those first tier connections in that niche. And we'll talk about that more in future videos. So I hope between these two videos, the last two, this one and the one before about connections part one and connections part two, although I just thought about calling it that. I hope you've got a good idea about how the mathematics behind LinkedIn works and how connecting on LinkedIn works.